Alright guys, Tom here and welcome to a new video and I've decided to do a let's play on Modern Warfare 3 campaign. Um, I've never actually done the campaign and I thought it would be a good idea to do a video as the multiplayer is getting a little bit boring to play and I thought as mo I might as well get my gamer score up and do a nice live commentary with a face cam and it should be pretty good. So hopefully this is going to be uh, turn out to be a good uh, series of episodes. It won't take that long. Uh, I think it takes about 6 hours to do the uh, full game. So yeah, let's jump into a new game. Um, I haven't actually played the campaign ever before, so this is all new to me. You guys maybe probably played it already, but I have never played the campaign on Modern Warfare 3. I've played all of them except World at War on the other Call of Duties. So this should be pretty fun. So, new game. I'm going to do it on regular, as uh, recruit's too easy, and the other two won't, they won't, probably wouldn't test me a lot, but I think that regular is much more fun and won't get me a stress. So I'm going to go on regular. So here we go. Now I'm going to skip most of the um, the uh, cutscenes cut like these um, when they get to the end of the bar, as I know they're not that interesting to watch, and you'll probably get the gist of what is happening anyway. So I'll skip that. And um, we've started. Uh, I can hear like a heartbeat or something. Oh, it's a helicopter. I have to turn my head to see what it is. So it is definitely a helicopter. It's like Captain Price, yeah, it's Captain Price. And it looks like I've injured myself, and um, everything is going crazy. I don't really know what's happening, but I recognise that from Call of Duty 4. So, um, it seems like they're carrying me, and hopefully it stays like this the whole thing. I'll complete it really easily if they just carry me the whole way through all the missions, but I doubt that's going to happen. And we're getting, um, seems like we're getting um, flashbacks from Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2. And, um, yeah, that's, this is going to be interesting, I suppose. They've got to, um, it's carried on from Modern Warfare 2, so they're going to have to, um, put that in there a little bit as well. And there's Nikolai as well, who you save on Call of Duty 4 straight away in that little penthouse from the Russians, with the Russians, I believe. So, um, yeah, so, looks like, a, that guy looked like, kind of like a butcher, but I suppose he's a medic. And Modern Warfare 3. World War 3, hmm. So let's get this started. When do we actually get to pick up a gun? Oh, so we've got another cutscene here. Right, skip this now. Yeah, there we go. Takes a bit to skip after it's loaded, don't know why. But apparently there's an RPG and I've got a lot of vibration. I should take that off, I hate vibration. Uh, but we've got the uh, standard date in the bottom left hand corner. And are we on a helicopter? Uh, either a helicopter or a, a jeep, I believe. But that, this head thing's really annoying, I can't really tell what's happening. <laughs> but he's opening a door. And... Um, no, we weren't even we weren't even in a helicopter, we were in, actually in that little butcher's place. The medic's the place. Oh god. Got a gun now though. Uh, looks a pretty good gun to be honest. Looks like we can do a lot of ripping up. And we got a mag. Let's do this. So, um... It looks absolutely crazy out here. So let's see what we can do. Right, take cover and um, take that guy off. First kill ever in this campaign. Let's play. Uh, take cover down here. And uh, this kind of reminds me of the um, the uh, oh, there's a friendly there. Um, kind of reminds me of the uh, multi uh, the campaign on Call of Duty 4 when you're at strike and on it's on um, it's on the multiplayer map strike but it's actually in the campaign like they always do because this is obviously most of the maps that I'll be going on on this uh, campaign will be already in the uh, multiplayer so you'll recognize them and um, I never really got why uh, enemies turn their backs and seem to run from you on the campaign like they seem to be doing at the moment I mean wouldn't they usually be uh, running towards you instead of behind you but I don't know that's a bit of a crazy thing but seems like we're just picking these guys off so you can take a better, get a position, better position up this alleyway. Which you're gonna need there. Uh, pick that guy off behind that box. Uh, get that guy running behind as well. And we're only 60 meters from the point that we need to be. So I think I'm gonna just uh, come up here a little bit and take cover. Uh, and is that guy there? I'm not sure. Yes, there's a guy there. Oh, a triple there. Uh, my name, my <laughs> there's a guy called Truck on our team. That's a nice name. Um, where are we? Don't see any enemies. I might just push up a little bit. Oh god, there's a jeep. Take that guy down. Yeah, taking him down. 
wonder if you can get onto the top of that jeep to use the gun or the turret. That would be pretty cool. Probably can actually. I might try that. Looks pretty active. But um, I don't want to come out too out in the open because it looks like there's still quite a lot of guys on the other team that we haven't taken out. Right, that's blown up there. So I might use that as cover. That might be a sign that I can use that now. It's guy on last stand. And you get a lot of damn bullets in this thing. Can I use that? No, I can't. Would have been cool. 